I'm just going to talk to you about um, Google for a few moments. Um, welcome to Google. Google has become, well, it's um, iconic really. Um, you know, those famous kind of coloured little Googles and the misspelling of the word Google. Um, Google is the search engine that many people turn to in the first instance. Uh, you would think from some undergraduates it was the only search engine out there. And uh, maybe from a few members of staff as well. Google certainly is well known as a search engine and um, it made a big splash on the scene when it first arrived, partly because it used a different way of building up the search results. So Google, rather than simply using keywords as many search engines have done in the past or and giving weight to keywords in different sections of the page, be it the, uh, the title or the header or hidden in the keywords or keywords that are in the text of the page, it actually looked at the links. So if a page was a page that had many pages pointing with links back to it, it kind of said, well, here's the power of the network and collective intelligence here because if lots of people are linking to this page, it's probably because it's a good page. I'm simplifying it, but that's a kind of thing of how it goes. Google does lots of neat tricks as well. So when we're looking at Google, we can um, do calculations in the search box or we can do searches in the search box. We can also do calculations and lots of clever things. Uh, but Google is much more than a search engine. Okay, Google now has a whole host of projects underway uh, many of them are fascinating and you can read about them in the Google Labs. Um, some of them have got a, a much higher profile than others. There are some other things as well, uh, like Gmail for example, which got Google a very high profile when it first went into different things. Uh, and other applications which are just simply stunningly neat and stunningly good at what they do, such as Google Earth. Which allows us to uh, do a kind of um, a flyover of a virtual Earth and things like that. So Google is much more than just a search engine. Um, and in fact, if, if you're a student on the iTech 300 one module, um, you'll be aware of, well maybe you won't be aware of it, but um, we've got the blog that's up there, and of course it's on Blogger. And who owns Blogger? Why? It's Google behind Blogger. Um, many of you I know happen to like downloading videos from YouTube. Oh, who owns YouTube? Why? It's our old friend Google. So Google is much more than just the search engine. Google is everything from the search engine that um, everyone tends to think of in the first instance to providing things like Gmail services to services like um, Google Alerts to services like Google Earth allowing us the virtual flyovers and to do um, mapping mashups and all kinds of exciting things like that to powering one of the most well-known um, platforms uh, for bloggers that's available and to things like YouTube which of course have been completely phenomenal okay um, interestingly enough, Google, of course, had its own Google video service before it purchased YouTube, and uh, it'd be interesting to see what they do with the two services that they're currently running um, in parallel. But YouTube was simply a lot better than Google Video for a number of reasons, uh, amongst them being that it was really simple to do, and end users like things that are really simple. Perhaps because most people are really simple, or even if they're not really simple, they like simple things that allow them just to get on with it and get it done. Anyway. That's the thing about Google, so whenever you think about Google, don't just think about the search engine. Think about all the other things that Google represents. And Google has lots and lots of money. Lots and lots and lots of money and could raise lots and lots and lots and lots more money if it wanted to. So, what other kind of things have they got in the pipeline? Mm.